this is what we do evening time. We duct tape everything that we own and then we just leave them outside. <laughs> yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Water heater is a must-have thing to get hot water and wash yourself. Ooh. Off-season traveling. Every day is a different. Yesterday was it was a Sunday, and the whole mountain side was full of people, and they were driving that really beautiful scenic route, which is a bit scary also. Now when we have actually been overnighting here, this is like a side road in a Pyrenees. Yeah, there goes like uh, three or four cars per hour here on this road, even on the daytime. When on Sunday, the parking lot, which is uh, on the highest point of the pass, it was packed with motorhomes and normal cars. Same goes this, this road. It was full of cars, so we were thinking about uh, is this something to do with after the COVID because people want to have uh, longer vacations now when they have a chance to travel or something, but yeah. It's just a couple of places in Pyrenees where there's a lot of people. Not in here. We like it. We love it. Yeah, side of the road, spend the night here. It was full moon and it was really bright. It was hard to sleep, so we actually shut all the blinds so we could get sleep on this place. Yeah, really awesome. Yeah, it's, it's like these are the normal sites around our van where we are actually sleeping. This is just beside the road, but yeah, on the night time there was, I would say, two cars going by. So we usually park our van also to the side of the road if we know that the road is empty in the night time. Yeah, and these places here on this part of Pyrenees, it reminds us a lot about Norway because big part of the wild camping in Norway, you are parking your van just beside the road on the mountainous areas because there's no other place to actually go with your van because there's a cliffs and downhills and everything. We are uh, pleased about this place and all the serenity. We have a full water tank, we have a full batteries, empty cassette toilet. But this is our luck. Tomorrow it will be a storm in here. <laughs> yeah, some kind of storm is coming from the Atlantic Ocean and it hits hitting this place tomorrow morning 8 a.m. It's gonna be raining 7 millimeters in one hour. The winds are blowing like 50 kilometers per hour on this part of the place and we are not really confident to be here in the mountains when it's storm. We don't know the <laughs> places that you can actually be here in safe manner. And we don't like the winds rolling our van. We have been sleeping a couple of nights on the mountains area when there is uh, high winds and also in Norway where it's always high winds and that uh, when your van is shaking it's really hard to actually get sleep. So we prefer we drive 30 kilometers to next city. There's a camper stop 6 euros per now night. It's on a tarmac so even if it uh, rains a lot we are safe. There's lots of rivers on this part of, we don't know how floody they get. I bet quite floody. So better be safe than sorry. So gonna go to the camper stop for one or two nights until the storm has passed us and we can continue forward. Yeah, it's just a parking lot with the gate. <laughs> so you need to pay, you can go to the other side of the gate. Sometimes life gives you camper stops that are just, just ugly, but they are convenient. Yeah. Fancy vans in 
fancy vans incoming. Yeah, lots of motorcycles. This is, uh, I think, one of the most popular roads that the motorcycles go in the Pyrenees because there's, they are everywhere and there comes some convertibles. BMW. Oh, it's a British people coming there. We are backed up actually, just taking pull out here and ready to go. Yeah, beautiful cliffside road. Those have, those have been actually fighting there for every hour or so. Weird. Shower fresh. So, our hairs are not that sweaty. It's just wet after the shower. Yeah, we are actually on the motorhome stop and it's just started raining and actually it's the whole sky is full of thunderstorms. Pretty awesome looking. And in this part of Europe, the, the storms are like in the clouds. You don't see any uh, lightning that hits the ground. Most of them are on the clouds, like an uh, electrical storm or something. Yeah. Not really awesome. Everyone is putting like, actually all the things away. We have a neighbors, a lots of neighbors in here. Oh yeah. yeah, I don't know if the camera can capture, but yeah, the whole sky is there, full of thunderstorms. Yeah, look at that. Now we are sheltering the rain because it's going to be flash flood and now that all the high winds started it's incredible they just started like this quick yeah what is in, in the cup oh in the glass tea most greatest cedary from france yeah we bought Good cider and Yoni bought the good cheese from the logo farmer guy. This is our survival pack. Computer, cider and smelly cheese. What could go wrong? Yes, because this is the last days that we are going to be in a France site and we have 65 gigabytes of data yeah. still on that SIM card. So we want all the bank for the buck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so cheap skates. That's true. Now it started winding a lot. I think something around 40 km per hour winds in here. And when it blows more, it blows a lot. So we are appreciating our actual decision to come here. Down the valley to the town and we are on the gravel lot like surrounded by bushy, not tall trees. We put the tape on the windshield of our van because fear to cut us again. They have some things that they didn't do well. Our windshield is actually leaking water to motor compartment. So we put a new tape there just in case. Yeah, this will be a hard storm. Um, hard. Heart. Maybe a Darude storm. Pulla, are you afraid of the storm? It's okay. No need to panic. It's just high winds. And no fear of power shortages because we are living off grid forever. So those things do not affect us. But Pula is really scared of the 
lightning and the sound so we will cover all the windows so he cannot see those so it eases his pain a little bit yeah he made a good decision because the height winds are really brutal now that we are not in the mountains because this would be really scary so after three waves of storms uh, one in the night and two in the daytime huge winds and thunders from the lightning we survived we survived it was good decision to come here yeah. really pleasant and yeah uh, this uh, town is not that uh, silent as you can hear the dog starts barking at 6 a.m and there is a really dramatic church bell that keep ringing like every half an hour yeah there was a comment in park for nights about the church bells and we were like laughing like yeah it cannot be that loud yeah because people usually complain about so stupid minor stuff but in this case they were true about those church bells but now the bells went kind of off for a while so we came here to relook. <coughs> yeah but uh, we are in uh, border of Spain and France. This town is called La Runge. And we have done now everything that we want in France, including using the data. <laughs> yeah, we are so cheap that we want to use all the services that, that we buy until the end. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So now the data is fully used so we can drive back to Spain. And France is probably one of the most easiest and pleasant countries to travel with the camper van because they have a really excellent network service this are the camping cars they are called Stellplatzes in Germany for example so a place where you can dump your tanks and fill your fresh water and spend the night yeah so this was six no oh, it was six euros plus uh, tourist tax eight euros per night okay. there is also electricity if, if it needed uh, it's actually two blocks only, so not much, but it's for those who really need it. Yeah. And water and dumping and, well, not so silent place to spend the night. The motorhome owners itself are always silent in uh, these motorhome stops. Yeah, even we are like cramped next to each other. Can you see the road there? Yeah, <laughs> still everyone are totally silent. We don't actually hear anyone opening any cupboards or no. uh, or listening to TV really loud or something like that. When we are cramped like that, you would think that there would be a lot of noise, but no. And people being on vacation, so they maybe want to stay up late and have a little fiesta or something, but no. No, it's really a respectful traveler. Yes, we like it. <laughs> we like it a lot. It's a, it's same in Spain. It's well, they go to the restaurant and be there until the night. But during the night time, they are quiet. Always quiet. So we like it. Yeah, but these uh, these Ira camping car places are usually very middle of this town. So it's so excellent because if you travel with a huge motorhome, you can know there's parking for you. And also you can drive there. The roads are good for yeah. motorhomes. Excellent. And a lot of people are saying on the forums that uh, they go to the uh, camping grounds and this motorhome stops for the safety. But I don't, I don't feel uh, more safe here in the motorhome stops. Maybe quite opposite, because the more there's a tourist, more there's a thieves. So, I don't know. Uh, i always been amazed how people think like that, because... If I'd you're alone somewhere, you know you can be there pretty sure alone. <laughs> yes. So, for us, the safety feeling is Goes totally... down the more there is people around us. Yes, <laughs> so totally opposite to, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say normal people, but other people. <laughs> yes, uh, we're gonna enjoy coffee, some breakfast, dump the tanks, fill the tanks, and then head towards Spain. Yeah, 
few we good words about France. The French bread is excellent here and it's cheaper than in Spain side. And also every cheese and eggs are really high quality here. Uh, for example, the bag normal baguette is 35 to 40 cents. Yeah, okay. Then this, uh, these are these rustique. They are usually one euro. And then there's always some special, extra special for one, hand, one euro 40 cents. Yeah. And they all taste so good. Yeah. They have a thick crust and lots of flavors. And like this uh, really salty uh, taste. Like it. Yeah, excellent. But we are missing Spanish foods and missing Spanish vegetables and fruits and so much more affordable prices. So we are waiting to go shopping in Spain. Yes. Vegetables, I was surprised how bad they are in France. Yeah, they're expensive and not that good quality. No, and not that good tasting. We like it a little more Spanish. Yeah, and you would think they are pretty much similar because they are... So close to each other. Yeah, that's true. But no. So, there are lots of things again that we are <laughs> waiting for. For example, vegetables. Yeah, and also a new SIM card, so we will take a new... No, we have a SIM card. Okay, and we will upload our Spanish SIM card. So yeah, so we top it up with uh, in the internet. There is a service where you can actually top it up. Yeah, twenty euros, one one hundred forty gigabytes from Vodafone. And it was really excellent decision to have a SIM card because at first we did not have it, and we were kind of struggling a lot, especially as being a YouTuber, it's kind of hard to find always free Wi-Fi and really crappy Wi-Fi. So now it has changed the traveling game completely because we can always just browse things from the Google Maps or Google. And yeah, because uh, our videos take like 60, 60 gigabytes of data per month yeah. to upload. But also you can see where's the cheapest diesel, where's the nearest little, all those kind of things. They help so much having an internet. Yes, but let's go enjoy breakfast and coffee. Pack things up and let's head the road. Yeah. Yeah. Off we go. Off we go. Away we go. Away we go.